Hey guys, it's me Gary, at least Stanley your sales guy. Hey, <laughs> today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. Our topic for today is selling. How do you start a sales conversation? What do you say? I said selling. How do you start a sales conversation? Well, first off, you got to have a customer. You got to have somebody to talk to. And a lot of times you got to make sure that when you're talking to a customer, uh, they may have the capabilities to buy. If you're talking to somebody at the door or at the house where you're at and they're not the person that lives there and uh, they're being really nice to you and everything you may want to reevaluate and ask them is this your home <laughs> i'm just saying you know you got to know who your market is you got to have good leads and you got to be able to talk to people who can pay for your merchandise see it's kind of easy to sell sometimes to people who who can't afford what you want they'll listen to you they'll get all excited and everything and then when you break it down for them and you tell them the price they were just going to go i was just looking uh i was just well you know you can come back later and blah 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 but see selling how do you start a a selling conversation the first thing is I knock on the door and I say, hi, I'm with a particular company. And, and listen, I know you guys are just moving in or maybe you're, you you don't know who we are. We were out in the community talking to people about our product. And we wanted to make sure that you knew about what we were doing in your community. And we have quite a few customers in your community who already have our services. And my simple job is to bring it to your attention. So if it's something you can use, you can make a, a good informed decision. And a lot of times when you talk to customers, Customers like that, they're like, well, um, okay, what, what do you got to sell? And sometimes they'll give you about a minute or two, but you really got to make sure you're on your ball when you're talking to customers, especially in person, because they'll size you up real quick. And a lot of times we hit them at the wrong time, that dinner, they just got home, they're getting ready to go to bed, or for whatever reason, they got excuses. But selling, how do you, you know, how do you start a sales conversation? Just be friendly. Just say, hi, how are you doing today? It ain't got to be something real crazy. You know, just let them know, hey, my name is Gary Lee. I'm with XYZ. We're out here, you know, talking to the community. And, you know, do you have a few minutes? And sometimes they'll say, no, I don't have a few minutes. Well, the reason why I'm out here is we sell life insurance. And a lot of our customers, you know, in this community, they don't have any. And I know everybody's got a mortgage around here. And if something were to happen to you, would your would your wife or your significant other be able to pay for the house if you were to pass away you've asked a good question you've sparked their attention and a lot of times they go well you know i don't know and then you know maybe i was thinking about that me and my, my significant other we were thinking about that that's just you know these are just some techniques and some ways you can have a conversation with somebody but see just to be able to just call somebody like hey how are you doing hi is this mary and then they'll say, yes, who's this? Hey, this is Gary. I'm with XY. We were just getting back to you about some information that you may have been requesting or had some questions about. Do you have a, do you have a minute? And they'll go, well, you know, I said, well, let, and then you just keep persevering. So what I'm saying is, how do you have a selling conversation with a customer? Man, I go everywhere. I talk to people all the time and I tell them what I do for a living. I'm a salesman. I sell life insurance. I sell this. I sell that. I sell all kinds kinds of different products and depending on where I'm at in the market I always try to you know bring my little business cards and I just let them know and I hand them a business card and I say this is what I do and you know and they'll say oh okay because see salespeople in the past have gotten bad you know people look down on us think that we're not important because they don't want nobody to sell them they, they don't want they just want to buy stuff but selling you know how do you start a sales conversation you kind of got to believe in what you're selling you got to believe in the product. You got to believe that what you're selling is going to make a difference in everyone's world. Now, remember, you can't sell everybody because not everybody needs exactly what you're trying to sell. But what you try to do is you try to market yourself in a way where you talk to particular people who can use the services and the products that you sell. And if you get a lead source in this regard, make sure that you use all your leads. Call on them as many times as you possibly can until you actually get in front of the customer and talk to them. The customer and to be able to talk to a customer when you find out hey maybe say for instance they got a pool in their backyard and you're out there selling pool services or you're just trying to sell motors or trying to get their put a screen around their pool you already know what they got in the backyard your simple job is to say hey listen hey i'm in the community uh, we do a lot of business out here uh, i noticed that you guys had a swimming pool uh, in this regard uh, who's have y'all thought about maybe getting it screened in 
or maybe resurfaced? Has anybody talked to you about maintaining your pool? Has anybody talked to you about upgrading your services? And see, by you asking these simple questions, the customer sometimes will go, uh, okay, uh, yeah, we've been think, uh, we've been think, we've had a little bit of problem. And then you just say, hey, listen, it only takes a few minutes. Let me take a look and see what you got going on. And then we can have a conversation. And if we can help you, you know, in a way, at least you, you've got somebody on your side who can walk you through a process. And by the way, you know, we take care of a lot of customers. This is real simple, guys. You know, having a sales conversation, basically, and how do you introduce yourself? It's just, you, you, you got to be clean. Your breath's got to smell good. You don't want to smell like pot or cigarettes, and you don't want to have alcohol or anything on your breath. You kind of want to have a nice, clean shirt. You want to look clean to the best of your ability. And see, customers, they, 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 they know that salespeople on occasion are going to knock on their door. And sometimes they'll be rude. Oh, my gosh, they'll be so mean. But see, there's a whole lot of other people that will give you at least a minute of their time to find out if you can have a conversation with them. And say, how do you start a sales conversation with anybody? It's just like saying, hello, how are you doing today? I mean, uh, and, and in this regard, when I talk to people out and about, I always, like I said, I have my business cards. I'm always listening to people. I'm letting them know what I do. They see the decals on my shirts. Oh, you do this? You do pest control? You take care of pools? You take care of, you do insurance? And people ask you if they have some type of need or, oh, I've seen you before. Uh, do you still sell that kind? of stuff because see I put my information out there I, I do a lot of networking I talk to a lot of people in different venues and different places you know I go to the gym you know and I wear some of my shirts that's got the decals of what I do so I kind of promote my business I promote what I do and I'm always telling people what I do listen guys even if they're not ready to buy right then and there you got to let people know what you're selling you got to tell them, even if you look and say, hey, listen, I ain't trying to say you nothing today, but I sell X, Y, and Z for this particular company. And by the way, if you ever need any help or if you know anybody who might need some, but first make sure the customer feels good with you first. So you don't try to sell them anything in person. What you try to do is you try to have a sales conversation. You build up the customer. You ask them a lot of stuff about the customers, about about their home, how long they've been living there, uh, their family members and stuff. Then you drop it in there. Yeah, and by the way, you know, I'm a salesman. I take good care of a lot of the, the families around here. So if you ever need any help, here's my little business card. And then on occasion, you'll have a, somebody say, you know, I was just thinking about that. I need somebody to help me. And what I'm doing, guys, is I'm planting seeds in your brain. A lot of times as, as salespeople, we make it so complicated to have conversations with customers. It's really not that hard. All we have to do is share what we do, ask for the order, and sometimes, you know, you never know. You might get a sale by just saying, hey, by the way, this is what I do. And I have so many times I've had customers say, dang, I didn't know you sold that. Next thing I know, I'm writing up an order or I'm taking care of a family member or friend. I get a referral. So go out there and sell something. You know, my name is Gary Lee Sam your sales guy and our whole total topic today is selling how do you start a convert sales conversation it's not complicated just say hello and be a positive person look your best act your best be excited enthusiastic about what you're selling and people will be more than glad to go oh i hadn't even thought of that oh maybe i need to go ahead and get that uh can you help me all right go sell some and remember selling how do you start a conversation you say hi Hi. All right.